Oh, hi. Um, you found me in my garage, getting ready to go fishing. And you're probably thinking, well, Tim, why are you getting ready to go fishing? We're still in lockdown. Yeah, we are, absolutely. But to me, it makes good sense to get myself ready so that as soon as lockdown is over, I can be out and enjoying myself really, really quickly. Uh, which has provided, <coughs> excuse me, the inspiration for this month's sales tip. Last month, we looked at the importance of structuring the working day. A, to be more effective, but also to reduce burnout and stress. It, it makes a lot of sense. To me, it also makes a lot of sense right now, just in the same way as I'm getting ready to go fishing, getting ready to be able to sell more proactively as soon as this lockdown period is over. Now, let's be realistic about things. This trauma means that the world is never going to be the same again in a lot of different ways. Uh, and quite what they're all going to be, I don't think anybody understands yet. I, I'm, I'm certainly not going to pretend to. But what I do know is that for a lot of organizations, the customers and prospects who used to be a priority, they're not going to be a priority anymore because they'll have found it harder to survive this difficult period and are going to find it harder to be successful in the way the world's going to be in the future. And it's equally true, actually, that some of the prospects and customers that were really low priority are going to be higher priority now. So to me, it makes good sense to be beginning to think, well, hang on a minute, maybe we need to start thinking about who the priority accounts and prospects are going to be in the future. And then let's get ready to actually service their needs professionally. They give you a couple of thoughts that might help you understand who these people are going to be. I'd be interested in having a look at the latest set of accounts that they've got and understanding the organizations who are cash rich, who have a strong balance sheet, because those are the ones who are going to be able to better operate and fare in a difficult period and are going to be able to pull out the other side faster than their competition. I'd be interested in thinking about the customers of these different businesses and the ones who are likely to be getting back into business that little bit faster because those are the ones that are going to need support from their suppliers that little bit faster and at greater volumes. And those are going to be the priority prospects and customers for us. I'd be interested in looking at the uh, kind of industries and environments that are likely to be impacted in the longer term. And, and travel clearly is going to be one of those. Those would be a lower priority area for me. And maybe others, such as healthcare, would be a very, very obvious one, are going to be quite higher on my priority list. So job number one, I'd say, and I'd strongly recommend and, and suggest to you, job number one we've got is let's understand who the high priority prospects and accounts are going to be post lockdown, because they could be way different to the ones who were priority pre lockdown. Having done that, I'd be interested in asking myself questions like, hang on a minute, do I really understand these new priority accounts, prospects, as much as I should? Do I understand the decision-making unit? Who gets involved in the decision-making process? Do I understand what their business needs are? Do I understand them personally? Um, do I understand how their, uh, how their buying process happens? Because if I don't understand those things, maybe I should be investing time now to understand them better so that rather like me being able to go out fishing straight away rather than there be a period of lag before I begin to actually sell to them proactively maybe I can get that up and running really quickly and there's an ev even an argument to say um, maybe we should be beginning to develop relationships with these people now and getting closer to them and you probably think well, well hang on a minute Tim we might not be able to sell to them now how can we develop relationships with them and I'll say, if you want to, you can. There's no reason why you can't be proactively making contact in a polite, assertive way right now and beginning to articulate how your products and services may be of help and support to them in the, I was going to say future, let's hope near future. Think about providing them with value on every contact, be that email, telephone call, Zoom, Skype call, or whatever. And by that I mean, 
can you provide them with insight into their customers or, or maybe some thoughts and ideas that are going to help them in their role immediately? Because the more you can position yourself now as being the person who can provide insight, help, support, well, A, that helps to develop a relationship, but B, you're going to be positioning yourself in that very important niche in their mind, ready for the future. Um, speaking of which, do you understand their customers? Because at the end of the day, our products and services, our proposition needs to help our customers succeed. So if we understand the industries that they're selling to, the types of customers they're selling to, the challenges that they've got when they're actually providing products and services themselves, maybe then we can articulate how our proposition can help them deliver their proposition, if you're still with me, which again makes the contacts all the more meaningful. So uh, the focus of the tip for this month, even though we're still in a lockdown situation is, let's get ourselves ready for the future. Now, do we understand which prospects and accounts are going to be priorities in the future? Which also, by the way, has got some implications towards time management. Do we understand the people who are going to be making the purchasing decisions within those organisations? If not, maybe we should do research now. Do we understand the purchasing process that they follow right now, although that could be evolving in the future in the changing world we're moving towards? And do we understand their industry, their environment and the customers who they service? Because it's by understanding those things that we can articulate more fully, accurately and clearly how our proposition can help and support them achieve their goals. I hope all that makes sense. It makes Good sense to do that now, so we can hit the ground running just as soon as things begin at least to slacken off a little bit. In just the same way as I'm interested in getting ready for my first tri fishing trip, uh, which I'm really looking forward to as and when it happens. Uh, look forward to seeing you next month.